of the health sector from NIFAC and NASCO have raised an alarm over the worrying trends whereby some people living with HIV, especially the men, have since failed to turn up for HIV testing and treatment, a situation that could lead to a rise in advanced HIV disease in the country. Our reporter Elizabeth Etienu now reports. There are 1.37 million people living with HIV in Kenya. And now there are concerns on treatment interruptions among some of the people living with HIV who are not strictly adhering to treatment, a situation that will lead to a surge in cases of advanced HIV disease or AHD. When we talk about advanced HIV disease, we currently see trends that we were seeing a long time ago coming back. The fact that we have treatment which is free and the fact that we have testing which is free we are seeing people who are not taking up that testing, delaying that testing, and testing when it is very late, particularly men. The World Health Organization defines advanced HIV disease as CD4 cell count of less than 200 cells per cubic millimeters, or WHO stage 3 or 4 in adults and adolescents. All infected children younger than five years of age are considered to have advanced HIV disease. For children, that may be a different case because children really, before even they have that HIV, they are immunosuppressed and the body is still weak. So the moment they have HIV, they have a different categorizing. Late diagnosis, especially among the male gender, late engagement to care among people living with HIV and treatment interruptions have been cited as the leading causes of advanced HIV disease. So we know that uh, we have had all kinds of reasons, including treatment, particularly people have been in treatment for too long. Sometimes they feel like, I did, do I need to continue taking my medications? Currently, the Ministry of Health through NASCOP and NEFAC has leveraged on technology to address this concern. Building what we call machine learning from our system to try to see what are the characteristics of the persons likely to interrupt treatment and what can we be able to do to stop them uh, or to, to support them not to interrupt treatment. The most common causes of severe illness and death among persons living with HIV include tuberculosis, severe bacterial infections, and cryptococcal meningitis. When you are on treatment and you interrupt that treatment, then certain opportunistic infections again come. Once we screen you and we, don't, we find that you don't have TB, we put you on what we call TB preventive therapy, which is medication that is taken between three to six months uh, to help you to prevent TB. In 2022 alone, 22,154 new infections were reported and 18,473 deaths were also reported in the same year. The National AIDS and STIs Control Program, NASCOP, is sensitizing healthcare workers to be able to identify and diagnose advanced HIV disease as well as manage infections that may arise. One is to make sure that people are there to their treatment so they're not coming to the level of having advanced HIV. On its part, the National Empowerment Network for People Living with HIV and AIDS in Kenya, NEFAC, has invested in community sensitization campaigns to ensure more people living with HIV HIV strictly are there to treatment. Elizabeth Atieno, TV 47, Nairobi.